Well, people, I am back and British heavyweight boxing is back too. Fabio Varley taking on Big Phrase in a rematch. But regardless of that, there are, there are some people who are upset with this with this rematch taking place. And I'm upset about something else, guys. I'm gonna tell you what. I'm upset about amateur background. Does it actually matter? That's a big, that's a really big question I like to cover here. But before that, guys, before that, let's jump into it and see why people are upset with this great fight taking place. Well, the simple reason is <laughs> the fight is British heavyweight fight. And it's been rumored, but it's happening now. And if we take a look, we can see it right up there. It's taking place in Saudi Arabia. So this is unusual that British heavyweight fights takes place outside of UK, but it does happen. So it's not like something out of the blue. Rarely it does happen in the past when you have uh, outside fighters who are quite good. Regardless of that, what's the real reason why it's not taking place in UK? And let's be honest, we all know it. It's because Saudis are paying the bills. And Saudis, many times, they are overpaying the boxers what they can generate from the fight. So they would pay more money because they want interesting fights. And this could leave some British fans um, being kind of stressed out that all the good boxing shows are now leaving UK and you don't even have possibility to go and see like a lower level boxing sh shows as this is like British level fights. Regardless of that, I mean, the boxers are very good and they put on very good performance, but it is British title fight. So you would assume it's here, then Saudi Arabia. But it is what it is. Money talks and that's where the boxing follows. <laughs> so yeah, guys, let's jump into it. Uh, what the public is thinking, what's going to happen next. So people, I'm going with BoxRec and what people voted on their own opinions as all checker or bookies have not made their decision yet. So there was no real information available who they are backing or what odds are there. But the public is backing Fabio Varley. 42 people cast the votes, 19 of us saying Varley going to win by KO. That is quite a lot. But regardless of public opinion, I would say professional boxing sign Queensbury Promotions has signed up Fabio Varley. And let's be honest, uh, boxing promotions not going to sign up boxer if they think he going to lose the next fight. So Varley has joined the Queensbury Promotions and he's a good asset being added to actually quite big, if you could say, uh, style of uh, boxers out there. I didn't even know Queensbury boxers has so many heavyweight boxers signed up, let's say like that. But the issue is many of them are on their way out. Joe, we don't know what's happening with his career. Chisora is talking about retirement. Fury is talking about retirement. Parker doesn't really sell tickets. Zhang doesn't sell tickets. Um, so yeah, regardless of that, we know Frankie, he is able to push people to the tops. So I think this Next fight, Fabio Wardley, everyone is backing him to win the fight. And why not? Why not? Because he's a boxer with 17 victories, no defeats, uh, who's learning on the job as he has like pretty much no amateur experience, guys. And that's what I'm talking about. A guy with no amateur experience versus a guy who's same size, very well-rounded, lots of amateur experience. Um, it should count for something. You really would think, oh my god, big phrase, he is there, he, he can punch, he can take, he can box, he can do everything, he should be able to manhandle Fabio Wardley easily. But what happened in first fight, I gotta be honest, I was kind of really looking for what the big phrase is gonna be, the guy who gonna break the camel's back, but no, he wasn't able to do much. Uh, he was quite a few times on the backside, he was being put down, which... In my eyes, really gives that Fabio Valli does have that X factor. He is just that type of person who, <laughs> you know, who just gets on the job, he lands on the job, and he can do it. He is that physically gifted to become the world champion. And I think Frank Warren sees that too, and that's why he is there. And the question is out there, does amateur experience count for much? I cannot answer this question. If you have your thoughts... 
and why yes and why no, leave them below, people. Mr. Zassal, till next time.